so in the last video which i made with the tiger face a half face typography in they not like us design so many people loved it and it got uh, approx 17000 views and lots of love from your side uh, so but in that video in this tutorial some people had really uh, some doubts which were need to be answered so i will answer those doubts in this video by designing the tutorial again and which will help you make a better effect or a better look for your design so without wasting any time let's start with it so i will click on youtube thumbnail as my canvas and before starting i will request all of you to please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update from dlc ventures india so let's start with it for this example i will be choosing a lion face okay so for choosing that i will be going to elements and here i will type lion face okay and i will go to photos and click on see all okay and this time i will not use a graphic and i will use a picture and so i will search a perfect picture to make this design so i will be choosing this picture okay so this is the picture as you can see in here i will just rename it as lion so that when i save it uh, it gets saved with the same name okay so i will just bring it here and so to make the design a perfect one you need to resize it perfectly and for this example i need to resize it to 180 and 590 okay so this will be my size because i have checked and designed it quite a few times and found that this is the perfect size where the image doesn't lose its constraint and helps me design the joints perfectly and this is the size as you can see let's make it slightly upper so that you can understand so that will be 180 182 and this one will be 590 okay so this will be the size after that i will be removing the background by clicking on background remover because as you can see it is black in color so we can use that but when we will be making the shape with the frame that time this black color might get blended in this background so we don't want that so we will be making this background color as black again okay and we will download it okay so we will download it and make sure you are downloading it as jpg okay and click on download okay so first doubt which uh, i found in the comments which was that how i am just uploading it so the easiest way is here Uh, which is uh, in the download icon i can just bring it directly to the canvas which allows me to directly upload in here without visiting this upload page okay so i can do that easily and after that make sure this canvas is not in black color and in some other color uh, i am making it white color to be precise and after that i will go to apps and the second doubt which many people have that what is the name of the app which i am using this is a canva app and it is named as font frame and this is the app which i'll be using this is the font frame app and it is free to use for all canva users okay so first i will do some basic changes which is i will go to settings and use the font which is another doubt which font i was using the font name is anton and 
and make sure the outline thickness is 5 5 to 10 will do it is white in color because it will then blend in the background letter spacing will be 0 and line spacing will be 0.9 ok so these are some of the basic changes which you need to do after that we will write the text as they not like us ok so I will write it here they not like us make sure every word is in separate line and no gaps or space is in between them ok so after doing that again go to settings after that click on left alignment ok make sure it is in left alignment format ok so after that we will click on the image and click on this icon so without clicking on the image you will find that it is not visible after clicking you can find that you can use selected image click on that and as you can see the image is properly visible here after that we will just make it bigger and use it ok so let's make it smaller so that we can make a better use of the image ok so let's make it a size so that we can just use it perfectly ok so this is the size which I will be using ok after that just make this uh, to size 1.2 ok so that it the eyes mainly the eyes are visible properly ok so as you can see the eyes are visible properly because we need the eyes to just pop out of the image like without that the design is impossible to get so we will click on add to design and just delete the main image ok after that just crop out the part which is not required just make it bigger and use it here ok so some people had doubt that their image was becoming hazy but as you can see in here after doing 180% now it is becoming hazy but when you are doing it at 50%, 60%, 100% it is not becoming hazy ok so if you maintain the scale which I maintained in here which is 182 and 590 you can easily get that but you don't need to maintain this same in the frame you just need to eat while you are using the first part which is uh, which you need to download it ok so after that when it is done let's go to elements again so that we can bring the other half of the line and we just crop it ok so the cropping is done now we need to adjust it ok so before adjusting I will uh, do one thing use the BG remover and after that zoom in to just use the crop icon properly and this one as you can see is properly cropped and properly used and many people have asked me why you are just uh, using the cropping part uh, why you are not covering the whole image like this so as you can see uh, if you are doing that the end part is not visible properly but if you just crop out some of the part the end or the day not like us is properly visible and you can use that so without that it is not possible so after that you just need to middle the image which is uh, you can do by clicking on ctrl a and make it middle ok so this is the design which is ready hope you got some insights and previously those people who had doubts I think I had covered it in this tutorial okay so hope you like this tutorial and 
let me know in the comments what next tutorial you want to see thank you